The insertion sort is a little bit like the select sort. We have our list of elements, and we take an element out. So we take out the, we ignore the first element, we take out the second element, the eight, and we say, is the eight less than the seven? If it is, we swap them. If it's not, we leave it where it is. Okay. So we take, we've done the eight, and now we move along to the six. So we take the six out, and we say, is the six smaller than the eight? It is, and so we swap the eight and the six. Is the six smaller than the seven? It is, so we swap the seven and the six. And then we're at the beginning, so we're done. Okay. And then we take the three out, and we say, is the three less than the eight? It is, so we swap the three and the eight. Is the three less than the seven? It is, so we swap the three and the seven. Is the three less than the six? It is, so we swap the three and the six. And then finally we take the nine out, and do the same thing. Is the nine less than the eight? Is the nine less than the seven? And so on. Okay. So in this case, we're taking out an element and we're comparing it to everything before in the list. So what's the complexity of that sort? How many comparisons are we doing? In the first case here, we took out this element and we compared it to the thing before it. So we did one comparison. Here we're doing we take out the element and we compare it to the two things before it. So we're doing two comparisons. Here we take out an element and we're comparing it to the three things before it. So we're doing three comparisons. Here we're taking out the thing and we're comparing it to all the things before it. So we're doing four comparisons. So again, we're doing n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 plus n minus 4 comparisons, right? So it's a big O of n squared. So a select sort in the worst case is big O of n squared. And in the average case, which is if we just have a randomly sorted list, it's big O of n squared. But what happens to the insertion sort if our list is already sorted? How many comparisons do we have to do? We only have to do n comparisons, right? We take the two out, we compare it to the thing before it, it's sorted, so we, put it, we leave it where it is. We take the three, we compare it to the thing before it. We take the four, we compare it to the thing before it. We take the five, we compare it to the thing before it. We take the six, we compare it to the thing before it. So in a sorted list, the select sort, sorry, the insertion sort, in a sorted list, the insertion sort has best case big O of n, complexity. So where might you have an already sorted list that you're trying to sort? Seems kind of stupid, really. Any ideas? So what about if you have, for example, a dictionary or a database where you've got things already sorted and you're trying to add a few things, one or two things, to something that's already sorted? So now the complexity of the insertion sort approaches big O of n. It's not exactly big O of n because you, if you add something, you're going to have to find out exactly where to put it, right? But your complexity now approaches big O of n because you don't have to resort the things that are already sorted. You just go through, you find out where you're going to add your thing, and then you're done. Okay. So the insertion sort is typically used if you have an already sorted list. So for example, in a database. You keep all the keys already sorted. As you add a new key to the database, then you just quickly do an insertion sort. It keeps things sorted. 
the insertion store is stable and the insertion sort is in place. Okay.